and women from more than 100 countries contest for the ultimate title to be crowned Miss World. We caught up with Miss South Africa before she departed and this is how it went. Over the years, the Miss SA beauty pageant has introduced many fiercely intelligent and beautiful women as ambassadors for South Africa. This year it was no different with the reigning Miss SA, Liesl Laurie. The Alder Alder Park born beauty swept the hearts of many when she walked away with the crown earlier this year. Since then, the life-changing experience opened doors and other commercial ventures for her. Through this, she has achieved phenomenal success, especially within the motivational speaking industry. Seven months being with South Africa has been a rediscovery of certain parts of myself that I may have forgotten whilst getting to the journey of Miss Essay. I found out that I'm much stronger. I found out that I'm fun-loving, that I can do anything I set my mind to. There's no doubt that Liesl has a lot on her plate during this year as Miss Essay. A substantial amount of her time and energy goes into charity and making a difference in the lives of South African children. A cause close to her heart. My greatest accomplishment thus far, yeah. <laughs> I think being crowned and then doing with the crown what I said I would. So living up to the promises I made for me was very, very important. And I believe in my heart that that is exactly what I've done. So for me, that's the biggest accomplishment. The crown can be taken today and I'll still feel like I've done what I needed to do. During her reign, she will represent South Africa at both Miss World and Miss Universe pageants. There she will be involved in promotional work, travel locally and abroad, meet dignitaries, the unprivileged, the sick and needy. This time around, our first princess, Rufilem Tinyamule, will represent SA at the Miss Universe competition, while Liesl focuses on Miss World. To me, this is something I've always wanted. I think with anything, growing up, I knew that I wanted to become Miss Universe. But to become Miss Universe, you first have to become Miss South Africa. So my mom kept on calling me Miss Universe, Miss Universe, good morning, Miss Universe. And I'd say, good morning, Miss Universe's mother. And here we are today. So for me, it's not a complete shock because it's something I've prayed for throughout the whole year. The current successor of Miss World is Rodine Strauss, the second South African woman to win the Miss World pageant, but the third to hold the title. With all eyes being on Liesl to see if she will be able to keep the crown in essay, she seems not to feel any amount of pressure at all. Not any pressure at all. More, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I just feel that I'm very blessed because all eyes will be on me from the moment I arrive. And that for me is a blessing rather than pressure. So all I have to do is make sure that the eyes that are on me from the second I step off the plane stays on me. Every aspect of the pageant supports the ideals and attributes of today's woman. A woman with her own goals and views of her role within society. These ideals are emphasized by the associated charitable cause which largely benefit from Ms. SA's support. Both Lisa Lori and Rafilem Timuni leave South Africa this week to compete in the Miss World and Miss Universe competition, which takes place in December 2015. For Morning Live, I am Tapelo Moela. You're so pretty.